In today's recipe, I will show you how to make homemade KFC gravy. Many people believe that they know how to make the Colonel's top secret brown sauce. Most recipes that I've come across make a simple brown sauce and add just onion powder or just sage or even just black pepper. These may be simple and delicious recipes, however, they just don't taste like the KFC style gravy recipe. Hey everybody, it's Johnny Mac from the Sauce and Gravy channel and today we're going to dive into a KFC style gravy recipe. Now I'm going to start off with the 11 herbs and spices. Check the description below for the list of the ingredients. Now the 11 herbs and spices that I'm using in this recipe are widely believed to be the same herbs and spices used in the Colonel Sanders Kentucky Fried Chicken recipe. It's believed that the recipe that KFC uses for its top secret gravy recipe gets its distinct flavor from crackling. Now crackling is the residue found at the bottom of the chicken fryers which KFC cleans out each week. They retain that residue especially for the gravy. This residue in large part would seem to get its flavors from the 11 herbs and spices used to flavor KFC chicken. Now if the Kentucky Fried Chicken crackling is the base flavor for their gravy and the crackling gets the majority of its flavor from those 11 herbs and spices used in the top secret KFC recipe, wouldn't you think that it would be a good idea to use the 11 herbs and spices in a Kentucky Fried Chicken style gravy recipe? So this homemade KFC gravy recipe contains the 11 herbs and spices suspected to be used in the Colonel Sanders top secret recipe. Again, don't hesitate to take a peek at the description below for the list of the ingredients. Hey, and you know what else? I put my own little top secret blend in at the very end. I didn't put it in the description, so you will have to watch to the very end of the video to see it. To me, this top secret addition at the end brings the dish to the table, so to say. All right, so our 11 herbs and spices are ready to go. We combine them all together. We got the mortar and pestle, ground them up so that they're nice and fine. You don't want any chunky pieces of herb in your sauce. So there we go, we've got it all made. That's a big batch, we're not gonna use it all. We'll use one tablespoon in the end. Okay everybody, so let's begin this. Go ahead and throw two tablespoons of butter into a saucepan over medium heat. We're gonna go ahead and melt these bad boy butters down. Now it's okay if you, uh, if you brown the butter, it's, it'll add just a little bit of flavor to the sauce. But today I'm not gonna brown it, but if you want to, kick it up a notch, go for it. And check out this little slippery devil. He is definitely not cooperating. Ah, finally got him. Let's melt this bad boy down. Now it's time to bring in the second star of the show, our lovely friend Flour. Two tablespoons of flour, throw it on in. Mix the flour on in to make our nice roux mixture. We're going to cook this roux for roughly about one minute to get all that flour taste out. Now I'm not going to brown the roux, I'm just going to cook it through, so I'm not going to brown it, I'm going to keep it blonde today. Now I don't know if you know that much about Colonel Sanders, but he kind of had a rough life at the beginning, and obviously in the end he was quite well off. He lost his father at the age of five, so his mother had to work, so that meant he had to take care of his siblings, and that meant cooking. He also had to take on some jobs at farms and such in order to add a little bit of extra income for the family. One of his first jobs that he had working at a farm, he was more or less fired two weeks after he started because he was a little bit too distracted by the animals. You have to keep in mind he was still a kid. Now because he was fired, his mom told him that he was worthless and would never amount to anything. And boy was she ever wrong. More on Colonel Sanders to come. So in this recipe I'll be using some quality products. I'm going to use chicken stock. So I'm not going to use chicken bouillon or a bouillon cube. I'm going to use chicken stock, which has a more rounded chicken flavor and less of a salty type taste. And instead of using beef bouillon cubes like a lot of these recipes do, I'm going to use Brownville stock. Now the Brownville stock will add a little bit of flavor, but not much. But what it's really going to do is it's going to make that brown classic Kentucky Fried Chicken gravy recipe color. Now go ahead and whisk that roux in. Make sure that you get it off the bottom. You're going to cook this over a medium to high heat. You're going to want to bring this to a boil to activate that roux to make it nice and thick. Now let's go back to Colonel Sanders and a little bit of his history. Now being told that he wouldn't amount to anything by his mom, so this instilled a little bit of a work ethic into Colonel Sanders. He had multiple jobs throughout his life. He was in the army, he worked as a tire salesman, a gas attendant, as well as many other jobs. And of course he built the Kentucky Fried Chicken Empire. Okay everybody, so now it's time to add our 11 herbs and spices mixture into the gravy. So we're going to put one tablespoon, so we're not putting the whole thing, just one tablespoon in. 
These 11 herbs and spices, they just bring out the classic KFC style gravy recipe. Give it a little mix. You want to get all those lovely spices and flavors and herbs into the mixture. Okay, ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls of all ages, it's the moment that you've been all waiting for. My secret ingredient. Drum roll, please. Brrrr. Okay, so it is white wine vinegar. This is what I think makes up the fantastic recipe. I think that in addition to the 11 herbs and spices used, this is what brings it to the table, folks. Okay, so we're going to reduce this sauce by half. Cook it over medium heat for roughly about 20 minutes. Now, Colonel Sanders felt more or less inside like Kentucky Fried Chicken and the franchise were more or less his children. He really did believe in a quality fried chicken as well as a quality gravy. Colonel Sanders sold his franchise in the 60s, however, he still did act as a, a spokesman for the company. And Colonel Sanders was very vocal about how he didn't like the direction that the new franchise owners were going. They weren't using as good of quality products for their gravies or their chicken. It seems that Andy and Accounting was cutting costs and also removing quality. So that's a brief history on Colonel Sanders and his life. And since he was a hard worker and believed in quality type foods, so that's the direction that I've tried to take with my homemade KFC gravy recipe. Tried to incorporate a little bit of quality into this gravy. And as with any sauce, my friends, it's always important to skim the sauce. So make sure you skim the top of the sauce with a spoon or a ladle. Get all of that foam off. Get all the impurities out. Make this sauce look nice and neat. Now we're starting to get there. Now that's looking like a homemade KFC gravy recipe right there. Check out that brown gravy. Look at that. The gravy is getting a little bit thicker. It's starting to have more of an oily consistency, but we still need to take it a little bit further. Okay, y'all, so we've reduced it by half. Check it out, nice and thick. Colonel Sanders would be so proud. Check it out. Look at all those wonderful 11 herbs and spices. See all those little flakes? That's not just one little herb. That's 11 herbs and spices, plus the addition of my wonderful top secret ingredient. And that, my dear friends, is my version of the top secret classic KFC style gravy recipe. Thanks for watching, y'all. Please do leave your comments below. I'd like to thank all of my family of subscribers for watching. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please do help support the channel by subscribing. And you know what? I'll see you all next time.